Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk and this is part four of Iron Man's Hands. So last time I made these um, epoxy resin casts um, by doing a clay sculpt over my own hand, making a mould, making a cast. Have a look at the website uh, for more pictures and the rest of the videos in my YouTube channel. So obviously these fit my hands perfectly, which is great, and the idea was to have this LED cluster in the middle. So like all of the parts of Iron Man, basically the plan is to have some sort of undersuit that you put on first and then all of the pieces of armour will latch on with uh, magnets in an easy way. And the reason for that is that in the future I'd like to build a machine to put the pieces on the wearer, just like in the movie. Well, almost anyway. So in order to make that easy, obviously having an easy assemble armour uh, makes it a trivial task for a machine just to go and place that piece and it to snap on with magnets. So, but first of all, I need to make um, basically a thing that you put on your hand. I'll be wearing black gloves and then there'll be some sort of chassis with the magnets on and the light mounted on it already um, with some magnets and then this will snap on over it. So, um, it's the first piece that I'm going to 3D print for Iron Man, so let's have a look at some CAD. So here's a very simple piece that I designed for that in Autodesk 123D Design, which is free software. Um, it's very thin, it's got basically three points for 10mm rare earth magnets to mount, a raised section to hold the LED cluster because it has a chip on the back, um, two slots for straps and a couple of holes to put um, another piece of elastic or an elastic band through to grip on the fingers. So I've already printed this piece on my 3D printer. If you want to know more about the 3D printing process, have a look at xrobots.co.uk slash 3D with an uppercase D. It's a Lulzbot A0101 3D printer. And let's have a look at the actual pieces. So the piece I showed you is actually the second version. Here's the first version, uh, which was designed for this hand, um, which is fine, other than you can't really bend because obviously it's very flat and far too big. So after printing this one, I then had a look at it and cut it down to the version I just showed you, which fits much better in the palm of my hand. Um, the LED cluster fits quite well as well. Um, and then if we take this, that fits quite well too. So basically the LED cluster is mounted quite nicely there. I need to put some form of diffuser over it, which may just be a clear disc stuck to the palm armour. Um, the magnets will probably space this apart slightly. So we'll have space to do that. But basically I need to glue that on there, put the straps on. Um, and I also need a piece on the back of the hand, so the plan is to have a bridge over the knuckles, um, which will be slightly curved, and that's actually going to hold another piece that all the fingers are attached to. So basically you can snap on the palm and you can snap on the fingers in one go, um, something at the thumb point as well, so I need some sort of bridge over the back of the hand, probably in an L shape, that um, attaches to the straps on the front. And these, and these strings, so the whole thing is held on your hand, and then the wire for the light runs up your wrist. Then you can put on this with the LED and all of the wiring and then snap the armor on afterwards. So let's have a look at the fingers. So here's the piece I just printed and you'll notice I've also stuck these magnets to uh, all the pieces. So this is to go on the back of the hand here. So what we'll have is um, effectively a latch that comes over that's got a bar that the fingers are attached to and the same with the thumb. So it'll be like a bit like those magnetic handbag um, clasps. And obviously that one still goes on the palm. So I'm gonna stitch these pieces actually onto this fabric glove, which is just a black glove. And then I'm going to put velcro straps between the slots on the sides so that you can tighten it up. Okay, so you can't see it very well, but I stitched these plates on, um, on the two holes here that I made, and also on the uh, ends of the slots, which also take velcro straps. So it's all rather black, but basically there's Velcro straps either side, so I can tighten these up. The top plates are rather more flexible than the bottom, um, but everything fits quite well, and that's really, really snug. 
um, and this still fits on here correctly. So that's going to be fine, so I just need to put some magnetic sockets in, probably made with uh, either 3D printed things with holes in that fit over these with washers glued in the bottom, or I'm just going to experiment with gluing washers straight into here, um, so that can latch on with magnets. And I can take the whole glob off in one piece of course, so if I undo the velcro, then those things remain attached to the glove. So here's an interesting thing I've just designed in Autodesk 123D, which is free software, and that is the coupler to go inside the palm plate, which couples to this piece. Obviously it's the other way around, so that plugs onto there that way, and those three magnets match up. So let's get that printed and stick it onto the palm plate. So here's the piece of plastic I've just printed, and that should fit and couple perfectly onto there, which it does. So the basic plan is to stick these washers inside, which fit perfectly in there, so that the, um, obviously that sticks to the magnets because it's metal, and then this piece goes in here, so that that can lock on. So let's get that stuck together. Um, and then we'll deal with the light, which goes in there. So I've glued the light onto the palm there, and I've also glued this piece into the hand. So uh, now this latches onto here. And that stays on, and the light fits quite well. There's quite a big recess you can see there to put a diffuser in, which I haven't done yet. Um, obviously if I power the light up, it's extremely bright and the whole thing stays on my hand. So that's the end of this video I'm afraid. The next video I will actually be working on the fingers and I'll also be showing you the uh, piece of armour that goes on the back of the hand which I've already made and if you have a look on the website at xrobots.co.uk slash im6 for Iron Man Mark 6 which is uppercase um, then you can see the pictures of the other pieces of armour.